Hey everyone, our Harvest Right freeze dryer just came in. I would have gotten it recorded when it came in, however, it is pouring out. So it's a little difficult to get everything off the freight and into the house. So showing it to you now and gonna go through the big box that it came with, with all of the parts. He's excited because he gets to have freeze dried strawberries whenever he wants. So this is the other box that it came with. We did not open that. But this box contains the pump, the hoses, the oil, the booklets, all the bags, the trays, a little book on guide to freeze drying, the oil filter, and impulse sealer. So now that we have gotten this into our house, we have it set up on a table. It's not as big as I expected, but we did get the medium. And compared to our little mini Frigidaire, it's actually smaller. So now we are going to get it all set up and ready to run a test batch so we can start using it. What are we doing as a test batch? Bread is the first thing you should do. Bread. And how do you do that? Carrot! Follow the, follow the YouTube videos that I watched. <laughs> Just a little bit of bread and you mix a uh, water vinegar mixture and put it on the bread and spray it on and run it through a batch and let it clean the whole inside of it out. And then what's the next batch you want to do? Um, ice cream. And you? you. Carrots. <laughs> I can't even complain about that. I don't know why he wants carrots, but okay. <laughs> we did not get the oilless pump because there were a ton of mixed reviews. So he did a lot of research on everything and decided to go with the Premier vacuum pump. Well, it comes with this. It came with this one when we bought it. So, okay. Shush. Don't mind the scre Don't mind the screaming child in the background. He is spinning on my office chair. Also, don't mind the mess in this room. We have had to do some quick moving of stuff and cleaning and once this is all set up, we'll have to reorganize everything. We will have to do some quick organizing and get everything situated to back how it was. Now this does not need a power strip, correct? No, it plugs straight into the wall. Um, actually, I ordered a um, meter that will tell us how much electricity gets used per batch and how much it costs per batch. But the pump, <clears throat> the pump gets plugged into the back of the actual unit and the unit controls the pump. So. This gets plugged into the back of the into the back of the unit, and then the unit gets plugged into the wall by its own cord. Hmm. So this will control the pump through the freezing process and um, the vacuum process. So let's get this hooked up. So they say the pump should always stay. Level with the machine. Let's put this out of here. Should always stay level with the machine. So we're gonna get this up to the machine. This is the vacuum line.
plug gets put into here in the back. So the pump gets hooked in there and then the cord goes in here. gets plugged into the wall all right and then the unit gets powered on two stage lock So there's the setup of it. Make sure this is in the right spot here. Okay. What do you want the initial freeze to be? This is all, it, it just stays at the, um, it, it stays at the, the, I'm just keeping up the factory settings for now. Okay. So, then we just have to get stuff set up for our first batch. Now, does anything get set up to that drain plug? Yeah, there's a condensation hose. Okay. that's here that is used later on to drain out any condensation out of it so into just like a bucket or something yep. a bucket or a bowl or because the uh it has to stay closed while you're running the machine the valve because the process at the end will leave some frozen condensation around the inside of the machine and you want to um, drain it out, but you want to leave the valve shut when you're running the machine, otherwise it won't get a vacuum. So that can stay closed for right now until we run a batch. So now we have to go clean the trays and uh, get some bread. We'll be back. All right, we're back. It's been on for 15 minutes. Then getting somewhat down to temperature. Now you have to, the first batch is bread. So you load in your trays. It's getting cold in there. Thank you. That's the last one, buddy. Is shut, which it is, and they continue. And how long? Probably 10 to 12 hours. Okay. So, uh, we'll be back with progress. Alright. There's four trees. I helped you, right? Hey everyone, welcome back to Freedom Ridge Homestead. I meant to finish my vlog about our freeze dryer the other day when we had some bread in there. And the bread ended up not finishing up until about 12.30, 1am. So instead, I am finishing this vlog 
now, a few days later, just to show you a few of the other things that we have been able to do since we started with the bread. Um, the other day, right after the bread, my husband decided to go in and he got out our strawberries that were in the freezer. He put one bag, which is one gallon, into our freeze dryer. This is only one of the jars. We have two more of these. Um, took, I want to say about 25 plus hours to do all of the strawberries to perfection. Um, one of the jars was only half of the jar, which we purposely did so that way we can try it out and all that stuff. Um, friends of mine told me that they tasted like candy. My son absolutely loves them. Um, they taste perfectly fresh and absolutely mouth-watering. The other stuff that we have done since the bread is candies. We did have a few that did not do very well, including peach rings, gummy worms, and the, I think they're fruit slices, gummies. Those did not do very well. Um, the ones that did do very well included our Skittles, which as you can tell, they popped like popcorn. These are not chewy anymore. They are crunchy and they just melt in your mouth. We did Starburst Minis and Starburst Airs. I'm not a fan of these Starburst Airs, but the Starburst Minis are nice and crunchy as well. And as you can tell, there's an oxygen absorber in them to keep everything nice and fresh. And then we did the watermelon slices. And some of them worked, some of them didn't puff up as much, but they taste like cotton candy in your mouth. So, in the next few weeks, we'll be doing some more stuff in the freeze dryer, including eggs, ground beef. Um, we're going to do more strawberries. Um, we're going to do some other fruits like bananas, pineapple. Um, raspberries, um, just to name a few. And then from there, wherever my husband decides he wants to do next. Anyway, sorry for the long time post, but thanks for joining us.